Good evening, beloved to Christ. There's a technique that tired and exasperated parents have used probably for millennia. I've used it myself a few times and I always feel kind of gross afterwards because it really is a cheap and kind of manipulative thing to do. You hear it in the grocery store and you especially hear it in big box stores like Walmart where the kid refuses to leave because he's got a hold of a toy that he really wants and he thinks if he holds his ground his parents are going to cave and buy him the toy. And 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 so there he is holding his 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 bat or his giant overpriced Lego set or what have you and and the mom says, "All right, Bye, Timmy. I'm leaving. Bye. And then she turns around and starts to walk away. And then, of course, Timmy leaves this toy that just a few seconds ago he couldn't possibly live without. And then he instead runs after his mother, screaming, No, don't leave me! And because there's something really primal within us, something very basic. We don't want to be left. We don't want to be abandoned. And I think that's what's at the heart of one of the most common petitions that we pray. Help us, save us, have mercy in us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Now we know what help means, and we know what saving means. Of course, saving can mean kind of in the biggest, grandest sense, save our souls eternally and once and for all. But it can also mean transitionally, save us in the here and now, provide for us as we need, save us from the uh, stressors and concerns of life. Um, mercy, we've talked about in some of the previous meditations here, mercy uh, is uh, favor that is undeserved, and it's freedom from the consequences that oftentimes come from one's uh, actions. And so the classic archetypal example is, you know, someone commits some sort of a crime and the judge says, you know what, this one time I'm going to have mercy on you. And so I'm not going to punish you to the fullest extent possible. I may be even just going to let you off with a warning. Okay. But I think the real operative phrase in that whole petition is keep us, help us, save us, have mercy on us and keep us, O God, by thy grace. It is by the grace of God that we are held tight. We are wrapped up and we are protected. And that's something that each and every one of us needs to hear from time to time. Thanks be to the God who keeps us by his grace. Amen.